G'day guys! Alright, so today I kind of wanted to talk about something I've been thinking about doing for the last few days, and that is the things that suck about being alternative. Now, looking at me directly, I'm pretty sure a lot of you think, wait, you're not alternative, but honestly, I really am. Um, like, particularly over the last couple of years, my taste has definitely gone into that kind of alternative subculture, the subculture, but, you know, I've kind of really been in it since I was around 11 years old. So, the first thing that I ever really got into was Lolita, and for those of you who don't know what Lolita is, it's a Japanese doll-like fashion, and it is absolutely adorable, and I still have a few things, but I'm getting rid of them because I don't really wear Lolita so much anymore. So, I think the main thing that really sucks, it's expensive! Like, recently I've been trying to find some really nice kind of gothic furniture. Now, I'm not gothic, I am alternative, but um, I tend to lean more towards the gothic stuff because I find that so beautiful. I just find gothic stuff for beautiful, especially the furniture. So, naturally I want to fill my room with that stuff. Um, so, it's expensive. The clothes are expensive. The accessories are expensive. The furniture is expensive. All of it's fucking expensive. And for someone like me, who's on a budget and lives at home, and parents won't pay for everything, or if they do pay for a lot of stuff, which they have, obviously, everything in my room they've kind of paid for over the years, but they do have a cutoff point. Um, <laughs> there is always that cutoff point, and I'm, I, obviously I'll try to push it, but, you know, that's only within a couple hundred dollars. Another thing is that I, that really sucks about being alternative is when you dress alternatively, you can get really weird looks from people. Now, I have a story from about a month or so ago. Go and check that out. And, like I said, I was into Lolita for a long time. And whenever I went to meets, you know, I was either walking there by myself or I was with one other person. And even when we were in a big group, it's just like, we would get these stares. And it's just like... Yes, we look weird, big fucking deal. And it's just like, why does it matter? And bear in mind, this is in the city, you know, and I guess in a way you, where I am, like, in Melbourne, there isn't a lot of alternative people that are extremely alternative. Like, I go to, the, I've been to the city quite a few times. I actually go to school in the city now. So, basically, I don't see alternative people that often. Like, another thing that sucks is, particularly, um, I think particularly in the corporate world, and a lot of the time in the retail world, depending on where you go, um, we have to tone down our style. Now, personally, um, I only have so many kind of alternative clothes that, you know, and a lot of them are very elegant. So a lot of my very alternative stuff is very elegant going out at night where it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? And then a lot of my stuff is actually very normal. And my style altogether is very normal, but it's an alternative spin on normal. Which also ties into the cost. Which is, I guess it is kind of fun going into normal stores and like saying, I can do this, this and this and this. You know, and create an entire alternative look out of things that are normal. And I think that is very, very, very common for people to do. Now, this is something that I found that, like, something really sucks is, um, this thing is probably something that a lot of people can relate to, regardless of being alternative or not. But not having what you want in your country. Now, I we don't have a lot of, like, alternative gothic stores here in Australia. Like, I know that there is one in Fitzroy called Vic Gothic, which I love. But again, the expensive problem. 
but you know like there always seems to be more overseas like better stores overseas like even if they're not direct stores there's still more online overseas now, I don't know about you but particularly buying stuff online is always a little bit of a gamble and I've always found that. I've always been that way. I actually had a bad experience on eBay a few years back. However, I have been on eBay recently and I've bought four pairs of shoes, three of which have arrived. So, um, so this next point is something which more affects me. Um, it's probably not so widespread, but if it is, great. But if not, okay. Um, it's... Alternative stuff not coming in my size. Now, I'm not ashamed to say this, I am plus size. You know, honestly, I think you would probably have to be blind not to realize I'm plus size. And honestly, there is no shame in saying that. But what really sucks is when I find something that I really, really want and I really, really like. The game, there's always the price issue. But there's the whole, is it going to fit? You know, or... Like, I've had it where I was in Vic Gothic the first time I went there and I was looking for an outfit for my boyfriend's dad. And nearing the end, I got really upset really quick because it was like, I saw the, all of these dresses and I'm just like, um, yeah, I'll, I'll try on this, this, this. And they didn't fit. And I actually got very upset because it was this whole, oh my God, am I going to even find an outfit that I like because I'm too big. And I did find something in the end, and it was a beautiful outfit. And But in the end, it was that it took me a while to get there because of the fact that I'm bigger. And it's something that I find really, really sucks, and that it obviously leads into the buying clothes and that online. And I've had it recently when I've seen some beautiful clothes that I'm just like, I'm, I'm like, you know, I want to save up for them and blah, blah, blah. I have no point in doing that because they I literally cannot get them in my size and I actually cried because I'm just like I wanted this so fucking badly and I think some people have had that where they've saved up enough money and then there's you know it's sold out and you know it was limited edition sold out and then you cry and you know that happens to me actually a lot and not just the whole saving up and then it gets sold out. It's more the find something I like, which might even be in budget. Like I've had it a few times. I found something in my budget, just doesn't come in my size. And that is an unfortunate factor of life. And before you say, why don't you just go and lose weight? I'm working on it. But I can't exactly go from being 16 to 18 to a 12 to 14 overnight. It, it just doesn't work that way. Especially with me. It really just doesn't work that way. And it really sucks. So it does make me feel bad. It Like there are times when I go shopping online. And it's just I end up feeling like absolute shit afterwards. <sighs> yeah. Alright so. Another thing which I think is. Which sucks about being alternative. Is that sometimes we can be very picky. And. I know this is more of a personal thing again, but you know, being picky isn't always a bad thing, but sometimes it really gets you further from where you want to be. Like I'm, I've kind of come to the consensus that with a few things I'm going to have to compromise, whatever, but you know, there's compromising and I guess in a way there's compromising and then there's just being fucking ridiculous. Like, I mean, um, like, I've recently been wanting a black skirt. A plain black A-line skirt in a nice fabric. I haven't been able to find it. Or if I found it, one, doesn't fit. Two, doesn't look good. Three, too short. Or four, too long. And I know that sounds like a weird thing, but I don't, I'm, even though I am into sewing and things like that, if you have to cut off about that much of a skirt, you're wasting your money. That's, like if it was only about that much, no problem. But that much is, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little rant. If you guys have any things, 
any experiences or any other things that you think suck about being alternative, post it below. Or if you guys have any ideas of any other kind of video you'd like to see me do, I'm, I'm an open book, you know. What kind of, would you like me to see, like, do some book reviews? Would you like me to do movie reviews? Um, what kind of things do you, would you, would you like to see? Obviously, reasonable responses, please. No stupid responses, because, <laughs> no chance. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.